Hey guys, Brother Quentin again. Uh, just wanted to take this opportunity to uh, make a public uh, a thanks to the Tampa Police Department. Uh, we see the crowds are growing out here at Metricon, and uh, the police are doing a real good job with crowd control uh, and remaining neutral. Uh, they may not agree with the message that's being preached, uh, but they do protect uh, freedom of religion and freedom of speech here in Tampa. And uh, they, they, they've set up a barricade uh, for people to stand behind, and we've got eight feet we can stand it from the, from the edge of the curb. And uh, we can preach from there as long as we keep a pathway open. But uh, the police officers are enforcing a, a three feet personal space. So if someone gets up in our personal face, uh, personal space, then they're enforcing that and asking people to please not get so close, so, as they would do the same for them. So they're rem they're remaining neutral. They're not uh, necessarily for us, but they're not against us. They're remaining neutral. So I give them a thanks for doing a fantastic job. Thank you, Tampa Police Department. And uh, I'm going I'm to pan around here real quick and just, just let you see uh, what they barricaded here and uh, and let you hear Brother Justin preach a little bit. God bless y'all. They are a terror. That's right. They are a terror. They are a terror. That's good. That's Romans 13. 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 Without laugh, understand that. We are to be a people that want to live peacefully with all men, as much as lies within us. As much as lies within us. For the word of God says that vengeance is the Lord. He will repay. He will take vengeance upon the wicked when he comes back to play fire. He will take vengeance upon those who know not God and upon those who obey not the gospel. That is a promise from my God, friends. You're still wondering, you're still debating in your mind. Should I give up my life? Should I turn to Jesus Christ? You're still debating in your mind. You still love this, the presence of this world. You're still a friend of this world. And the King James Bible says, love not the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. But whosoever is a friend of the world is an enemy of God. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's all of the world. And if you love this world, if you love this system of this wicked world, the love of the Father is not in you. You're an idolater. And you need to repent of that. You need to lay down your dagger of rebellion. You need to lay down your dagger of idolatry. You must lay down your dagger of sin. And turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, who is ready to pardon your sin. He's ready to pardon you abundantly. He's ready to cleanse you from all your sins. He's ready to cleanse you from all your unrighteousness. He's ready to make you a new creature. That's why in 2 Corinthians 5, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Amen. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Do you realize that? Grant salvation is a new life. Salvation is a life of holiness. And it's a life where God gives you a new heart. He changes you mainly from the inside, and then that change from the inside manifests outward to good works. For we have a flower day under good works in Jesus Christ our Lord. Understand that the Bible says, the Word of God, the King James Bible says, For the grace of God, which bringeth salvation, hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying of godliness and worldly lust, we shall live soberly and righteously and godly in this present world. That's salvation, friends. It will produce a new life. It will produce a, a, a life of holy living. It will produce a life that wants to please God. That wants to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. After all, Jesus Christ gave us all for you. Why don't you give your all for Him? That's the least you can do. Jesus Christ shed His blood for you. He gave Himself for the sins of the world. But He also said, if any man will follow up me, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, let him take up his cross, daily and follow me. But he that will love his life shall save it, shall lose his life. But he that will keep his life in this life, he shall lose it. But he that will lose his life for my sake and for the gospel's sake, the same shall save it. For the Son of Man came not to destroy the lives of man, but he came to save. For the Son of Man came to call sinners to repentance. Not, not good people, not religious people. He came to call sinners. He died for sinners. Christ Jesus died for the ungodly, for the fornicators, for the whore for the adulterer, 
for the thief, for the liar, for the sorcerer, for the sodomite, for the lesbian, for the murderer, for the drug dealer. And God sent his son, the mother God was manifest to see Jesus Christ as an identity. So the sacrifice that he made on that cross was powerful. The love of God, that's where the love of God was manifested. That take away our sin, that take away your sin, and your sin, and your sin, and your sin, and my sin. The Son of God, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested to take away our sin and to destroy the works of the devil. To destroy the works of Satan. To translate you from the kingdom of darkness and translate you to the kingdom of light, to the kingdom of Jesus Christ. To translate you to convert you from the power of Satan unto the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't know Jesus Christ today, friend, we plead with you today. Humble yourself today. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is merciful. His kind of mercy never fails. And the blessed King James Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's whosoever, friend. Whosoever. Whosoever shall place their faith in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved, shall be converted, shall be redeemed by His precious blood. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Thou shalt be saved. It's time to grow up, people. Put away your video games. Put away your Pokemon. Put away your Dragon Ball Z. Put away your Power Rangers, okay? There comes a point in your life where you have to grow up. There comes a point in your life where you have to put down the comic books and pick up the Bible. Pick up the King James Bible, okay? That's the most interesting book in the world, the King James Bible, God's own word. Put on all the comic books. Put down the PlayStation. Put down the Hollywood movies, okay? And pick up the Word of God. That is the most powerful, the most interesting book you'll ever read. The Word of God, the Holy Bible. It is the only book that's a living book. It is a living book. The Word of God is living. It's alive. It is alive. It's sharp as a needy two edged sword. And it pierces through your heart. It convicts the sinner of their sin. Put away these childish things. Put away these childish vanities. Put down your toys. If you're over 30 years old, it's time for you to be a man. I'm like a man. Alright? Be responsible. Be a responsible man. Pick up the Bible. Live for the Lord. Look for the Lord Jesus Christ. It takes a real man to serve Jesus Christ. It takes a real man to love the Lord. It takes a real man to obey God. Out of a willing heart. Out of a willing heart. Out of a willing heart. To serve him with godly fear and reverence. And reverence. Oh, friend, in conclusion, today, in conclusion, as I wrap up the soul of the matter, the soul of the matter, you are to fear God. You are to fear your Creator. You need to prepare to meet thy Maker, prepare to meet thy God. You may hate the messenger. You may hate what we represent to you. But the truth of the matter is, you have no excuse, friend, on the day of judgment. You're without excuse. Absolutely without excuse. When you stand before the righteous judgment of God, your mouth will be stopped. Your mouth will be stopped. The law of God is presented to you. All the world has become guilty before God, and all mouths will be stopped. You won't be able to say anything. At all. At all. Before God casts you into the lake of fire, you will be silent. You will be destroyed without any words, without any excuse. But the good news, you don't have to be judged for your work. You don't have to be judged for your sin. You don't have to be judged for your wicked way. You can be judged by the standard of Jesus Christ. You can have the righteousness of Jesus Christ imputed unto your behalf, and your sins can be imputed unto the Lord Jesus Christ. The doctrine of the imputation, the doctrine of the body of faith. What are you doing? Be like I hope some of you are convicted now. Yeah, I really do. I hope this message is taking root in your heart. I pray it though. I hope you're convicted. I really do. Because if you're still convicted, you can still be saved. God is dealing with you. I pray that God continues to convict your heart daily. Convict your heart when you go home tonight. When you lay your head on your bed, on your pillow tonight. I hope you wrestle with this all night. I hope you wrestle with this all night. I hope you step all night. Amen. I hope you step all night wrestling with this thing about salvation. Amen. 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 We want to see you in heaven. We want to see you in heaven one day, friend. Not hell, but heaven. Hell's gonna be lit. God is not willing to meet you, Paris. I'm not willing to see you, Paris. Not one of us wants to see you, Paris. 
Show us anyone who wanna see you in hell. Show us anyone who wanna see you in hell, sir. Okay? Repent. Turn from your wicked way. Repent of your vanities. Repent of these idols. You made idols. And turn to the living God. Who can save you, who can set you free from your sin, who can change your life, who can sanctify you, justify you by his holy law. And he can make you a place in heaven. He can make you new in Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord while he is there. Seek God while he is dealing with you today. For today is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. Say it the Lord. That is the word of God, friend. That is the blessing of Jesus Christ. Repent, humble yourself. Call upon the name of the Lord. That you might be saved. Amen. 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 Hey, you people like music? I like songs too. Hey, you might know this one. You hold that, brother. Go ahead and sing this one with me. If you're a homo and you know it, just repent. If you're a homo and you know it, just repent. If you're a rank abomination and the scourge upon your nation, you're a homo and you know it, just repent. Verse two. If you're a lesbo and you know it, just repent. If you're a lesbo and you know it, just repent. If you know you're a her, but they always call you sir, you're a lesbo and you know it, just repent. Hey, my brother here has got some love for you tonight. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I told hypocrites not to judge. You better not be judging, you hypocrite. Tomorrow you might not be here to talk about it. But you might not be here today. You might want to repent today. Say that with you today. Tomorrow God's going to for you. You can watch with you. And you're born again. And become a leader. It's the Lord's first prize. To give you life. To give you the world. To give you life. For him. Not for the devil. You must repent to be born again, people. Because if you like to walk around, you think that everything will be okay. Somebody would like to talk about tomorrow. But you don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. Somebody would like to lie to yourself. Somebody would like to lie to yourself. You don't know. You can't walk out. You're hell. You're not going to be fine. You're not thinking what you're going to be or what. You must repent today as you can. And you start thinking about yourself. You start being hypocrite. You start thinking about yourself. You start thinking about your own choices. And you start believing the Lord Jesus Christ. Read the Bible. The King James Bible. The real Bible. You're using hypocrite incorrectly. Don't read your favorite books. That's not going to help you at all. Don't listen to these people over here. It's not going to help you at all. It's not going to help you at all. Really yeah, it's so true, man. They just go and tell us the truth. Yeah, yeah. And believe the gospel. You want to tell us what you want to believe? We're just talking, saints. It's a, it's a funny thing, folks. How uh, the sinners don't even realize how they're playing into God's hand. Uh, they, they join in around. They're singing songs and they're mocking. Uh, they got their music. And, and they're singing they're like a musical, I guess. They're dancing and singing over there, and and uh, what it's doing is it's it's creating uh, interest in everybody that's within a one or two block radius. And so we got people lined up along the crosswalks now, 
Uh, we've got people all around the outside of the convention center that are just coming to hear the hear what's going on, and they're getting the, they're getting the word of God. It is the word of God being preached, and uh, of course, when the God uh, word of God goes out, it won't come back void. So. Uh, Praise God. I just want to talk about that for a minute because it's just interesting to see how things play out in God's hand. So if God be for us, who can be against us? So I'm going to pan in on the crosswalk here a little bit and pan around and let you all see the crowd a little bit. Here's some more preaching from Brother Youssef. God bless. He wants you to leave forever. He don't want you to leave for just a few years. That's it. He wants you to leave. He wants you to leave forever and ever. But you don't want that. You just okay with what you have right now. You okay with what you have right now. But whatever the devil gives you, you okay with that. You are very cool people. Right now, you are good. Go ahead. But when you go into hell, don't be having excuses about why, why the Lord made you crazy to hell. Don't be putting excuses. Don't be telling the Lord that why you're there. If you are the, if you are the one who deserves to go to hell, you know the Lord died for you because you don't care what you deserve. And they found that. But, but I'm not changing anyone. You must repent. 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 But why is the way that it's too disruptive? So many goes there. So many goes there. So many goes there. You see the truth of that? You see the truth of that, people? You see it? The Bible is right there for you to read it. It's worth. It's worth that it's true. The word of God. For you to read, but you just don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to read the word of God. Because you don't want to be free. It's like so many of you like to, so many of you like to ask you to be free. I can't be free. I can't be free. If you want the truth, that's what we're doing. I'm telling you the truth. You are too sick for the truth. We're doing that for you. We're telling you the truth of God. We love you that much, that we want to preach to you. We want to tell you the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. But someday we will be here to judge, to judge every one of you. And you must repent and believe the gospel. It's both drinking, homosexual, adultery. All weekend, all that the devil, and you will stop right now. And it's not going to be that you go out here, it's not going to be that you're going to be okay. Just the way you live in your life. You must repent and be born again. You must be born again. And it's not going to be that you're going to be the devil's way. It's not going to be that the devil is going to do the things for you. This is not the devil. You must repent and believe the Lord Jesus Christ. And stop believing that the devil is going to send you in a good place. Because the hell is not a good place at all. Come on, you say that you're going to have a good time in hell. It's not going to happen in hell. In hell is fire. 
Everything that you have right now, everything that you have right now, that's because the Lord gave it to you. The Lord gave you all this air for you to be able to breathe. To be able to breathe this air. All this He has given you to have. But in hell, everything is going to be taken away. Everything is going to be taken away. You must repent. You must repent, people. The way you are feeling up is not going to get you anywhere. They go to hell, people. Hey, 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 you want to walk the right way. You want to walk the path. All right, guys, we're just discussing. You notice any time you see uh, somebody come out and do a wicked act, a uh, couple of homosexuals kissing, a couple of lesbians kissing, of course they're homosexuals too. Uh, somebody that drives by and blows their horn or anything that distracts the word of God being preached, all the sinners rejoice. And uh, they, they do, they draw off each other. And uh, you know, misery loves company. Uh, those that are drunk, they they want they don't want to be drunk alone. They want to call up all their friends and have them come over and get drunk with them. Uh, they want to rejoice in iniquity, and you see that, for example, out here tonight, uh, when when something happens that goes against God's law, and uh, we know that the Bible says that man should not lay with man the way he would lay with womankind, for it is abomination. And uh, you see a couple of homosexuals kissing out here, and the crowd goes crazy. And uh, that's what they do. They draw off each other's wickedness. So uh, please pray for uh, for these folks out here. They Indeed, their hearts are deceitfully wicked, and it's hard soil that we got to break up out here tonight, folks. Until we expose the wickedness in their lives. Of course, G, uh, the, the Apostle Paul said in Ephesians 5.11, he said, Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That word reprove is exposing. So expose the works of darkness. Uh, we, we, we're called to be just like Jesus. Jesus said, The things that I've done, you will do it even greater, for I go to be with the Father. Uh, of course, Jesus said... Uh, in John 7 said, he said, the world that cannot hate you, but they hated me first. He said, for instance, see, that's an example of what I was talking about. A couple of lesbians kiss, everybody rejoices. They rejoice in wickedness. Uh, Jesus said, they cannot hate you unless they hated me first. Uh, they And they hated him, but he said, because I testified that their works were evil. And that's what we're called to do. Testify the evil works of the world. Uh, Pointing to Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And uh, that's that's what we're seeing out here tonight, folks. So a uh, light clashing with darkness. And sometimes it's, uh, it's quite surreal, I guess I would say. You know, for somebody that's never seen light clashing with darkness, it can be surreal. So we see it all around us. Now they're wanting somebody to chug alcohol. Okay, I guess uh, that wasn't alcohol. That was pickle juice. Guy was juggling, jug, chugging a jug of pickle juice. Now what these guys will do for entertainment is astonishing. Nothing sinful about drinking pickle juice, but I, I think it's still quite disgusting. But uh, Brother John, he's out here singing some hymns. So, hey, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, feel free to share, comment, like as the Lord leads you.
All right, God bless you guys for tuning in. Thank you all uh, for the prayers tonight. And uh, we're going to fix it to get out of here. Uh, we preached since about 4 o'clock, so about four hours. And uh, we're going to go uh, go ahead, break some bread together now in fellowship. So God bless you guys. Uh, thank you for your prayers. Please pray for those that heard the word tonight. I pray that some hearts would be changed and people would, uh, there would be some fr fruit produced from the hearing of God's word. So, so praise God. God bless you all.